<laughs> Listen, <coughs> everything has gone wrong for me. Don't I tell you that the retrograde is the shit? And nothing went right for me. I didn't get to go to Florida. Bitch ass niggas. I'm going to be in Florida. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to get to Florida before the weekend is over. My moon is in Aries. I don't accept defeat. I'm going to get there and see my subscribers in Florida. You get that? I'm going to be there. Give me another 24 hours. I'm going to be booking a return. It's been, it's, it's been crazy. Crazy. Oh, my God. I hate retrogrades. This is my planet, Mercury, going loco. And it was connected to a Scorpio new moon. Oh, boy. <laughs> How do you handle that? Oh, I got to put some music from uh, Ismael Rivera. More sensual. <laughs> Okay, notice that in this uh, video, I have a shadowy component. But let me talk about a couple of news first. <coughs> God, what I got to tell you. Boy, what I got to tell you. I will be in D.C. I am going to go to Palm Beach. I need to know. I'm there too. The retrograde is kicking my ass. It's like, pow, pow, pow. But I'm fighting. My Aries moon, I'm fighting. I'm fighting. I'm going to get on that plane. God forbid it turns out to be something like Richie Valens, right? Oh, God. <laughs> Richie Valens was afraid of airplanes and died in one. Like Roberto Clemente. He hated flying and died in one. Alea hated flying. And she went to see her boyfriend the night that the plane crashed and she died. And I don't like flying either. So, but worse is ocean. Because I remember my past lives having drowned in the ocean. So even to this day, when I look at the ocean, I go, ooh, I remember. I remember. So, um, so first let me give a couple of thank yous for your donations. It's been generously received. You got me out of the black. I mean, you got me out of the red. I love you guys. You got me out of the red. You, you guys look out for me. You guys look out. Which I look out for you. I got you. And let me tell you, I don't care who you are, and I don't care how far you are. I don't care if you're in India, Bangladesh, the Sahara. I don't care where you at. You need something, you call me. I will do my magical spells here, and I don't charge for that. Nigga, bitch, you be all right. Take it from Uncle Fernando. And I'm an old-fashioned witch. Witches like me don't come but only once per century. It took my entire life for me to believe that I was that type of special being, an ambassador from the gods. And it's a position that I hold with tremendous pride. But it took me a lifetime to accept that I was this person that could aspire to be great among the gods. That's not something that I want it for myself. But you guys did that for me. You guys have deified me. And I think that I'm going to look out for y'all. I mean it. Lilith in Virgo. Now you know, I'm a Virgo. So look how I'm dressed. Showing chest, showing hairy chest, being, you know, sexy. You know, you know how Virgos are. The opposite polarity is Pisces, the sign of the harlot, the whore. It ain't me saying it. What well, damn, Pisces? Cut me some slack. It ain't me saying it. It's in the books. Listen, I hate you, Pisces. You all you can you all can enjoy a good pussy or a good dick. You love sex. I wish I could do that. I'm a surprise. I cannot do that no more. I gotta look at this and, and fantasize about it. But I can't be doing that. 
I'm like, I'm done with that, you know, you know, <laughs> but I got to talk about that because what's Virgo? Virgo is the trickster, the hustler, the liar, the cheat, the con artist. He's sexy and he knows how to sling dick. Now listen, the first hustler hustling dick out in the streets was probably a Virgo or a Gemini because we're ruled by Mercury and Mercury can sling like that. It's wicked. Mercury, I said, Mercury, Mercury, if you know anything about Greek mythology, Mercury, which rules Virgo and Gemini, is the only god, the only god that can go into the underworld, Hades, and come back out. The king of the gods, Zeus, cannot go into the underworld and come back out. And he's the king of the gods. Mercury, the messenger of the gods, can go into Hades, the domain of Pluto, of Scorpio. Now, do you see the connection between Virgo and Scorpio? Why the emblem of the M with the spike and the M with the loop of the fish is similar to Virgo and Scorpio? Do you see why? The Scorpio will kill any nigga or bitch that goes into Hades, even if he's a god. But when it comes to Mercury, he'll come with the with the knife and Virgo like, look, bitch, look, bitch, not me. You can't be the devil without this. And the devil Capricorn cannot be the devil either without this. And in the in the tarot key of the devil of Capricorn. What's the first symbol you see? Mercury, right on the forehead. You can't be the devil if you're not stupid. If you, you can't be the devil if you're not smart. Well, you cannot be the executor of death if your time is limited. And Mercury rules time down here. And he's a trickster, the shapeshifter, the chameleon. And he's not ruled by intellect. He's ruled by logic. So therefore, fear is not instilled in Mercury, nor in Gemini, nor in Virgo, which is why we can handle Scorpio. We can handle Aries. We can handle Capricorn. We can handle anything thrown at us. Because we're them motherfuckers that could be shysters and dirty, rotten scoundrels. The movie was made by the Walter Matthau. Movie like that was made. Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. Or the Inglorious Bastards with uh, Brad Pitt. Those are Virgo movies. Mercury movies. Well, we get away with murder. Literally get away with murder. The dark side of Virgo is no joke. Even Scorpio frowns at the darkness of Virgo. Because it's very similar to Scorpio. We're in bed together. Did Scorpio abduct the virgin, Persephone, in the myth? She wasn't scared of him. She wasn't scared. She wasn't scared of him. But she fell in love with him. And then she became queen of the underworld and ruled him. Virgo bitch. Careful, Virgo girl, something else. I kill, I kill by the opposite of Pisces. So you know this girl got game. She got game. So if you are Virgo with Lilith in Virgo, oh Lord, give us strength. Give us strength. Ooh. <laughs> like a Tony Braxton song. Um, I don't break my heart, sweet darling. And she goes, ooh. At the end of the song, ooh. You're going to go, ooh. <laughs> when you come with Virgo, this bitch of these niggas ain't no joke. And don't use their body, their beauty. All of those who cajole and get what they want. Oh my God. Lilith and Virgo. Ooh. I break my heart. <laughs> Sweet darling. <laughs> oh Lord, give us I, I just got started. <laughs> Ooh, let's find a nice song to cover the next 15 minutes. Okay, let me tell you.
I'm going to need it. <laughs> let's see. Tito Point. I'm going to do you, let's, my seminar in Detroit, which will be on the week of the 29th of uh, January. And Corinda Green will give further details about it. Uh, this um, seminar is going to be the bomb. I hope you can be there. I'm going to be in Detroit from uh, 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 January 29th until the 5th of February. And I'm booking a hotel downtown Detroit. So I'm going to give you the details further down the road with that, okay? But let's go, Tito Rodriguez, before we begin discussing Lilith in Virgo. And boy, what a situation. Ah. So, we've been under a very powerful retrograde. Uh, conjunct a new moon in Scorpio. So, you know, this can get a little bit tough and intense. But let me tell you about Virgo. Virgo is the virgin. She's beautiful. She's sensual. She walks with a gait where she sways her hips. You know, and she knows exactly what kind of skirt to wear to accentuate her hips and her legs and her thighs. And she walks with a little switch. And she knows what surrounds her. The man, he knows he's good looking. He knows he's sexy. He knows he's got swag. And and, and that's just natural for the for the sexy gigolo Virgo man. Think of Richard Gere in American Gigolo. You've got to watch American Gigolo by Richard Gere. Oh, you gotta watch Silent Night Fever with um what's his name? Uh, John Travolta, the 1979 classic, where uh, Barbarino, you need to watch that movie. He's Aquarius, and uh, John Travolta is, is an Aquarius, but he has a Virgo ascendant. And in that movie, you saw the femininity and John Travolta as he played the character of Barbarino, the way he moved his hips and gyrated his hips and moved, you know, like, you want you want I wanted to fuck him. I wanted to fuck him. <laughs> okay? I mean, he was just, just, he was hot. And the way he was dancing, you know, you know that scent, the way he was moving his body, that's all Virgo. So Virgo is sensual. He reeks of it. He walks down the street, and you know a Virgo man because his, his pants are tight. His shirt is tight. You can see everything coming out. And he just walks with confidence, you know, a real man whore. And he knows it. And the women love it. And a few gems too. <laughs> For Virgo is a sign of bisexuality. Because Mercury is androgynous. Lilith touches on all these factions of Virgo. Ah, I did the point that you don't have to I like talking about my sign. Because I embrace the dark in me. Do you? There's no way that you can be whole if you don't embrace the dark. And let me tell you, the dark can lead you to the light. Like those from the light can fall into darkness. Angels can fall and become demons. And demons can be redeemed and become angels. Lilith and Virgo touches on these themes of morality, amorality, right and wrong, rightful action, withdrawal, sexual decadence, celibacy, chastity, and abstinence. These are all polarities that belong to Virgo Pisces. And Lilith and Virgo are in Pisces, or affecting this polarity can bring some of the most darkest human beings on the planet. Think of Jeffrey Dahmer, a Virgo, and look what he did. Think of um, Charles Manson, 
And what he did in that movie, The Wolf at the Door. You gotta watch that movie, The Wolf at the Door. The story of Charles Manson, how he murdered these people. Oh, God! Ah! Scorpio! Lilith and Virgo. I don't know which one is worse. Lilith and Scorpio or Lilith and Virgo? Because they're both equally dangerous and vicious and venomous and dangerous. Lilith and Virgo. Now, Pluto, I have Pluto in Virgo. And they say that Pluto is exalted in Virgo because of the Scorpio Virgo myth of uh, Hades and Persephone. And you know what? I believe that. I believe that Pluto is exalted in Virgo. There's a few astrologers that agree with me. Most astrologers don't, though. I gotta say that. <coughs> but I do believe that Pluto is exalted in Virgo. Because let me tell you, we are fearless. Fearless. With Lilith in Virgo or Pluto in Virgo, the generation of 1959 to 1970 had the signature of Pluto in Virgo. And I was in that generation. And we understand darkness. We understand darkness of the soul. The real the, the, the reaches of darkness of even of God, even though we don't know what that is. Because as above, so below. The laws of correspondences are cancelled out when you have Lilith in Virgo. Because you have to understand that the virgin, the, the, the shadow of the virgin is to be a blood sucking, cock sucking whore. But being a cock-sucking whore could be a very fun. It could be fun. Or eating pussy all day long. It could be fun. Can you imagine being a porn actor and you're fucking and sucking dick and eating pussy all day long? What a job! I love it! What a wonderful job that is! Virgo rules work and service. So when you have Lilith in Virgo, you could be a sex worker. A prostitute, a man or woman for hire, an escort. I've done all those jobs myself. I've done it all. And I don't have Lilith in Virgo. I have it in Taurus. But it's Earth, just like Virgo. And Taurus is more sensually driven than Virgo. Virgo is the virgin. Taurus is the indulgent debaucher. And I've certainly been there. So I understand that Lilith in Virgo can also make you a very skillful lover. You know, he, he'll be that nigga that'll make that woman squirt all night long. Or, she could be that bitch that when she fucks a dude, he'll be crying, literally crying like a baby. The fuck is so good. Lilith is the basal, darkest nature of the lower level of the Kundalini force of the Scorpio sacral chakra. Which is in our gonads. So the sex can be deliciously decadent and diabolical and taboo. And of course, that's going to have its ramifications. So when you're dealing with Lilith and Virgo, you're dealing with a man or woman that can engage in extreme perversity. Virgo rules health and healing. With Lilith and Virgo, you might be the woman who's a nurse that will kill your patients, inject them and kill them. Or you could be the Virgo kinky bitch that will dress in a nurse's uniform and act role play and fuck her patients. I've done it, it's wonderful. SM, SM, simulated sex and kinky sex and all that kind of deviant sex, fetishes. All of that falls on the Virgo, not Scorpio, Virgo. Ah, Virgo and Pisces is the state of masochist polarity. Here you have the extremes of sexual behavior, which can go awry or can be puritanical on the other end of the spectrum. So at one end of the spectrum, you have a total whore with her legs open, or a dude with the legs up in the air, getting ready to get ticked. Or, now I'm going to break it down. Okay, we're talking about Lilith. We're talking about sexual deviance and sexual darkness. So come on now. Don't faint me not apply. Okay? 
So and I'm, I'm laid out there. This is Lilith expressing herself in her lowest decadent nature, which is important to discuss because it represents the lower nature of the ego. And even though we want to move away and transcend the lower nature of the ego, it's important to recognize that that is the starting point in which we have to begin to transcend and move upward on the spiral ladder of evolution. But we have to own that dark part of us and kind of like let it wear itself out. Don't suppress it because it gets worse. Listen, if you want to eat pussy, suck dick, and do what you want to do, and uh, and be decadent, you know, and, uh, and have sex with people you're not supposed to, like children, things like that, listen, I'm never going to endorse that. Never. But if you're going to do that, you're going to have to handle the consequences that come with it. And Lilith and Virgo can give you some very painful consequences. Lilith and Virgo can make you not help people when they need the help. You can kill people. You can be a nurse killing people. You can be someone who's fostering service but killing people at the same time. With the one hand, you're helping, and with the other hand, you're destroying people. Lilith and Virgo is extremely dangerous. These are people that will murder you in your sleep, bludgeon you to death while you're sleeping, or put a poison in your milk, or like the milkshake murders. Remember that the two Mr. Kissels, remember that? That was a documentary about a woman who killed two rich brothers. The two Mr. Kissels, or it was called the milkshake murder. This is Virgo, the darkness of Virgo. This woman fell in love with this man, but she really didn't fall in love with him. She knew he was a millionaire, and she got with him, and then she used him, killed him, and then went with, her bro with his brother and killed him too. She was evil. I remember that story. And I did the child of the woman who did it. She had little to Virgo. Virgo can be dark, folks. Oh, Lord. Lilith in Virgo. Mamma dee, peekow. Peter peekow. No, no. <laughs> Lilith in Virgo. The virgin has become a whore, a harlot, and a bitch on wheels who kills and maims with no mercy. Lilith and Virgo. Virgo is the sign of service and dedication to service. Lilith and Virgo will make you. You could be falling down the cliff and you can reach out, help me, help me. The woman with Lilith and Virgo will kick you so you can fall to your death. Fuck you, bitch. <clears throat> oh, she a bad bitch. A bad nigga. This rough, ooh, terrible. It's extremely dark. Extremely dark for both the man and the woman. Okay? You gotta understand that when, when you have, um, is that the, the, the sex angel Lilith and the son of the Virgo together become a very strong contradiction? This girl likes to do things out of the ordinary. She's self sufficient. No? Sex of her can be an ecstasy or it can be a business. Right. She, the shallow side of the Virgin. The virgin priestess is that she could either, either be a nun or a whore, be a, 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 an insatiable succubus of loving just men, or she could be a man hater. Okay? She can be critical, frigid, hard to listen. And, you know, Virgo rules help and assistance. She will be the one not to offer any assistance to you. So fuck you, motherfucker. Fuck you. And allow you to die and drown and not come to your aid. Bye, bitch. Bye, nigga. Little to Virgo. Guys, don't forget to donate. Okay, I now have Venmo as well. And, and my uh, PayPal is paypal.me slash the people's astrologer. Okay? www. And I thank you for following me on Instagram, Fernando Perdomo, or the people's astrologer. I will be in Miami in a couple of days. I'm still trying to get there. And then I'll be in D.C. And then from there, 
I'll be traveling abroad, and, and you know, we're going to take it from there. Guys, I love you for donating, and I love you for watching. Thank you.